I was battling insecurity via comparison. There were past pain and triggers that would come up that I allowed to have power over me so much that those things spoke louder than the truth of my identity. And this is what he said to me. He said, Deanna, it's dust. He said, I want to free you from obsessing and feeling shame for what will return to dust. He said, what you see is skin tone, dust. You see body shape, dust. You see muscles, dust. You see rolls, it's dust. There's more than meets the eye. You are the glory of my image. If what you see returns to dust, and what's left must be the truth of my image. I said before I formed you, I knew you. Who was it I knew? Who was it I saw before you took shape, before you were formed? What you're jealous about is dust, a body, a smile, an eye color, a hair texture. You were made in my image, but that goes far beyond the bounds of a body. When you choose to become envious of others' appearance, you are truly envious of the dust of the ground. This is not to discredit the beauty of my creations. They are not lesser as you are not lesser. If you do not truly hear what I'm saying, this lesson will boost your pride. And if so, you are still missing it. Everyone is an intricate brushstroke on my canvas, but to live wishing you looked like others or become crippled by another's appearance is truly to be envious of something that you currently walk on. If you are not careful, you will be intimidated by dust, threatened by dust, lose your way by focusing on dust. Will you live your life consumed by what will return to dust or will you immerse yourself in what you are made in the image of God truly means?